In this video, I will demonstrate uh, the repeatability test results, particularly the effect of payload on mover repeatability. As shown in the test setup, we are going to test uh, our M3-13 export. This mover has a footprint slightly under 240 mm by 240 mm with a nominal payload of 3.6 kg. We are using a Mitutoyo dial gauge to measure the mover position in X direction. The dial gauge has a resolution of 1 micrometer. In each test, we will drive the mover to a fixed position with a full stop, record the dial gauge reading, and then drive the mover away. We repeat such a test for about 100 times over 10 minutes. During this process, we also change the payload. I have an aluminum plate of 1 kilogram and two steel plates of 1.6 kilogram each. So we can test the uh, four payload conditions. Zero payload with nothing on the more. One kilogram payload using the aluminum plate only. 2.6 kilogram payload using one aluminum plate plus one steel plate. And 4.2 kilogram payload using all three plates. This slide shows the summary of the test results. The horizontal axis is the test index. The payload is plotted in the blue line. The dial gauge reading is plotted in the red line. Basically, the position varies within plus and minus two micrometers in despite of the payload variation. The mover positioning performance is insensitive to the payload. This slide plots the same results in another format. Dial gauge reading versus the payload. Clearly, the payload has no influence on positioning repeatability. I included the full video recording of the test process for you to enjoy. Please feel free to send us any question that you may have. We will be very happy to discuss your project and application requirements. Let us know what you want us to test. We'll be glad to do it in the next video. So now you can enjoy the full recording of the test process.